please pick up all the day. So uh, Bill City has been just setting up and celebrating trains at the Roseland Public Library for 17 years. But this year, the pandemic almost derailed the fun. I got COVID uh, beginning of December. And then when I came down with him, these guys pushed in and uh, made the trains for the public. So you're the senior member of the team, and these young kids love trains as much as you do. They sure do. <laughs> you guys stepped up to the plate and helped Bill set the train up. What, what do you love about trains? It's a good way to keep me busy. My parents probably love it because they keep me, it keeps me away from my devices, which is probably one thing that most people struggle with during this time. Um, I think it was my mom's best friend that bought me a Thomas tape when I was two years old, and it just went from there, you know. And Bill has been so generous over the years with his time and resources. I've been coming here since year one when I was, I think, like eight years old. So cool. How many trains do you have here? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> the kids come in, they sign up through the library, and they stand out there. We give them the remotes, and then we wow. dust them down with the wipes, of course, because of the time. Time for a comment. Uh, it's just nice to see these people show up and enjoy the trains. And it's so just freaking cool. See everybody happy. First off, it was so much fun and so relaxing to watch these trains, but I love the story. Bill getting over COVID and Dylan and John stepping up to keep the trains on track. Normally, the library puts that away right after the holidays, but to give kids more of an opportunity and the community an opportunity to enjoy it, they've extended it through, uh, well, February, and we'll see, maybe even a little longer. Love your library more than just books. Very cool.